In Japan, I often read that contrary to the West, where when there is a case, you are usually innocent until proven guilty. In Japan, mm. there's a tendency to, or at least it appears that you're guilty until proven innocent. And sometimes proving your innocence in a case is maybe more difficult than having to prove the, the real mm. culprit guilty. Mm. Is yeah. this true? So, in, for example, let's just take it generally, New Zealand. The onus is on the prosecution, the ones bringing the case, to prove that the person who is in front of them, the defendant, did what they are accused of doing. In Japan, it's reversed. So you, as the person who's been accused of this crime, misdemeanor, you are obliged to be the one to prove your innocence. So you're right on that. That's in a broad spectrum, right? I'm not a criminal lawyer in Japan, but that's broadly it. So a recent case I knew of was a an English person who was driving a car and just momentarily looked at his cell phone and in the meantime clipped an elderly gentleman, a Japanese person, on a bicycle. And that person passed away, unfortunately. The driver of the car was placed in prison. It happened to be over Christmas time. Um, they had to do a, a lot to obviously get out of there. And then what happens? Uh, can you stay in Japan? Do you have to be sent away? What happens? In this particular case, I believe, I introduced a Japanese lawyer to this person who was amazing and helped out. Um, and they, often people come to me for the lawyer who can help them because I can't do the work, but I usually know who can. And this person managed to stay in Japan. Uh, the person that passed away was, they had no family. And so as I guess, a giving back or uh, trying to absolve what he did. He paid for funeral expenses, for the um, plot, for the stone. Uh, he goes there and cleans the, the grave all the time. He's like his now adopted family member. And I think that was his giving back to society that the judge took empathy with this person. He'd never had anything else go wrong in Japan. And that person continues to have a life here, a very changed life, because it no longer can drive, but is still able to stay in Japan. In some cases, they are sent back. It depends on the case. But in this particular one, perhaps it's a mix of the, who the lawyer was, the way it was explained. But this person in particular spent a lot of time in prison before being able to get out all right, and appeared in front of the judge a couple of times and explained the story. And the judge obviously takes into account the fact that this person's already spent three months in a very cold cell with no English books. Right? So it's, it's a difficult situation. It's case by case. But that's one good story. But the problem here is that I think people maybe assume that Japan is the same in, in law or it's, there's no problem. I won't, I'll be fine. But we we're always ambassadors in this country. We've got to keep our... You know, be good. Mm -hmm. You're leading your country and you can't just rely on your embassy to come and rescue you because that doesn't happen. It's a big thing if an embassy is involved. You're in really big trouble if you do that and probably you're on your way home.